Dear Justin, June 8th, 2003. After the Black Eyed Peas and Christina Aguilera performed in the Tacoma Dome, the lights went out. Thousands of girls were screaming. At one point, a spotlight beamed down on you, and the screaming got even louder. I had never experienced anything like that, Justin. I wanted to stay and watch your whole performance, but my friend was solely there to see Miss Aguilera and had absolutely zero interest in seeing you, and I couldn't convince him to stay. Fast forward to October 2009. I was visiting a friend in Jacksonville, Florida. A group of us went out to a bar quite early. Music was playing, but no one was dancing. Until, that is. Don't be so quick to walk away. Rock your body belted through the speakers. My knees couldn't handle it anymore, Justin. I had to get out on the dance floor. All by myself. But I wasn't alone for long, Justin. Because of you. Within seconds, a hottie was all over me. To her, my goofy facial hair and my white socks with brown loafers didn't matter. She heard you. She saw me. We had a grand old time. Not long after, the dance floor started to fill up, just like my pants. Every guy in the bar that night was envious of me, and I have you to thank for that, Justin. I know those girls couldn't have been wearing too thick of beer goggles. It was like 8 p.m. Not that they couldn't have been drunk already, but it was like 8 p.m. Thank you for that moment in my life, Justin. Jump ahead to 2015, your last leg of your 2020 experience tour. I was working as a stagehand that night. Out back, they asked a handful of us if we wanted to go inside for something. I volunteered. As I learned in the army, you always volunteer when your superiors ask for help. It turns out those of us who went in were there to be greeted by you after your encore performance of Mirrors. When you came backstage, I could tell how much work you put into your performance. You had a towel donned around your neck. You were sweating and out of breath, but you took a moment to thank all of us for our work in the build-up and tear-down of your concert. Oh, how hard it was for me not to faint when you made eye contact with me. My heart fluttered. My stomach quivered. Did this godlike level of entertainment man really just thank me and make eye contact with me? I was just there to turn some nuts and bolts. Miraculously, my knees didn't buckle. But I kept my composure, Justin. For you. I knew how important this moment was for you. It was kind of weird that I didn't have to sign a release, but whatever. I was part of the 2020 experience. I still have my green shirt issued to me for that job to this day. Then, right before the wildness of 2020, everything began to change, Justin. You had a strong lapse in judgment. Photos were taken of you and a co-star of one of your movies holding hands. She was smiling so hard. Of course she was. If I was gay and in her position, I would have been too. But your wife, Justin! Jessica Beale. One of the most undoubtedly beautiful actresses has been faithful to you, and you made the first step in throwing all of that away. I remind myself of when Norm MacDonald spoke about Tiger Woods. Norm said that the average man might have about ten times in his life when a woman might throw herself at him. The normal man only has to say, no, ten times. But men like you, Justin... You have to say no probably ten times a day minimum. I can't fathom even for one second what that life would be like, so it is beyond me to pass judgment in your moment of weakness. Jessica Beale is stunning and brave. You are lucky to have her, Justin, and I hope deep down in your heart, you know that. But 
then it happened. You revealed your true form to me, and my faith in humanity and hopes for posterity have all but gone out the window. January 20th, 2021. You deemed it necessary to perform a production of Better Days with a video in support of the inauguration of President Joseph Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. Justin, this was the day you ruined my life. And it had nothing to do with Trump. Trust me, I am not a Trump supporter, but that does not mean I'm a Biden supporter. Unlike George W. Bush and the 400 congressional aides who wrote a letter after the insurrection believe, there are more than two sides to political issues. There is another side to American politics. It's called liberty, Justin. Even though you have ruined my life by overtly supporting an extremely pro-government, chicken hawk administration, I have something you'll never be able to take from me. Ironically, it was a catchphrase of the 44th president. Hope. Ever since your video performance aired, I pray your decision to support even more anti-liberty administration is only because you are ignorant to liberty. Have you taken the time to read Henry Hazlitt's Economics in One Lesson? Have you even heard of Murray Rothbard? When Ron Paul ran for president, did you take time to read The Revolution or Liberty Defined? When was the last time you've been to Mises.org? Have you asked any of the questions from 33 Questions about American History you're not supposed to ask? by Dr. Tom Woods. I understand you are part of the entertainment and Hollywood elite, Justin. I am not. So I don't understand why the vast majority of the entertainment and Hollywood elite toe the line when it comes to an anti-liberty stance. In 2007, I got out of the army. And in 2008, I was called back in for a second tour to the Middle East. That was an extremely jarring, life-changing part of my life. But those jarring moments are when we learn the most, Justin. Now look, I don't know you personally. I don't even know if you've had many life jarring moments. To be sure, the life you have led itself is continuously jarring. Being in the public spotlight constantly I know is something I genuinely wouldn't want thrusted upon me, especially at an early age like yourself. Many celebrities have had traumatic endings to their lives because of that spotlight. However, I believe a jarring moment shouldn't be required to discover liberty, Justin. I know I'm just a middle-aged fat guy going through a tough time in my life, but man to man, I hope you take some time to learn about Liberty. The last two albums I have purchased in physical form have been the 2020 Experience and Mandatory Fun by Weird Al, so I'll still your enjoy your music. I'm not blocking you. I'm not trying to cancel you. We won't ever be able to discuss Liberty if those happen, Justin. I just hope one day you'll be able to find the time to explore Liberty. Take care. And thank you for all the memories, Justin. You don't have to say what you did i already know i found out from him now there's just no chance for you and me there'll never be 
And don't it make you sad about it? You told me you loved me. Why did you leave me all alone? Now you tell me you need me when you call me on the phone. And girl, I refuse. You must have me confused with some other guy. The bridges were burned, and now it's your turn to cry.